What's up you guys? How are my beautiful people doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Dan and today we have a pretty short video actually. Uh, I'm gonna compare two of the best sunscreens on the market at the moment. This is the Clears uh, <laughs> Soft Air UV Essence and this is the Purito Comfy Water Sunblock. Both of these are SPF 50 plus PA4 pluses so there's not a big difference in there but there are some differences uh, let's start actually with the packaging. Both of these are white. <laughs> uh, pretty similar in terms of the packaging, I would say. This is two fluid ounces. This is, I guess, three fluid ounces, 2.7 fluid ounces, uh, 60 mils and 80 mils if you are in Europe. When it comes to the price, this is around uh, $60 on Yes Style. I always buy it for like 12 or 11 because I always buy this on, when it's on sale. Same thing with the Claire's. On a Yes Style, this one is usually 23 actually, 22 23 dollars. If you find it on sale, you can buy it for like 16 dollars, 17. I would say the Claire's one is just a little bit more expensive. Why is this not full? Yeah, just a little bit more. 70 dollars for 80 mils. Yeah, that's a little bit more expensive. However, there's there is not a big difference when it comes to the price of these two sunscreens. Uh, when it comes to the filters, there's a big difference between these two. The Purito Comfy Water is a mineral sunscreen. It uses zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. The Clairs one uses chemical filters or organic filters. It uses Uvenol T150 and Uvenol A. Pretty potent, great chemical filters. Purito is SPF 50 plus. Um, on their website, they claim this one has SPF 79, which is super high. However, the UVA protection of this one is around 19, and Claire's does not disclose how much is the UV B protection. We know it's 50 plus, but we don't know exactly. Is that like? 70, 80, 90, we don't know that. And uh, also we don't know the UVA protection. I would say, however, this one has better UVA protection than the Purito one. I'm not sure, I think it's definitely above 20. I'm pretty sure about that, but I'm not a chemist, so I don't really know. <laughs> Purito one is a mineral sunscreen, so it's gonna be great for people with sensitive skin. However, uh, there are claims that mineral filters tend to kind of like clog people's pores. So if you're one of those, if you know your uh, pores tend to clog very easily, I would use this one. This is a chemical sunscreen. Chemical sunscreens are known to be more sensitizing to the skin. By the way, this is sunscreen. This is all sunscreen. <laughs> uh, chemical filters, like I said, are um, not so great when it comes to sensitive skin. However, this uses Uvenol uh, T150 and Uvenol A and these are great, powerful chemical filters. These filters provide great protection, even in small amounts. So companies tend to use, to use less of these filters and this way they're not problematic for the skin. When it comes to white cast, this has a little bit of white cast, especially if you reapply two, three times per day. Um, I would say it's kind of like a 0 0.5 out of five. It's such, it's a very, very minimal white cast. However, I guess on darker skin, it's gonna be more noticeable. So pay attention to that. This has no white cast at all. It's great for darker skin tones. Texture wise, this is my favorite because I'm super oily. However, I imagine this is not gonna be great for everybody. I guess dry skin types, I'm not gonna appreciate this as much as oily skin type. However, if you use a moisturizer underneath this sunscreen, if you have dry skin, is gonna work great. This is one of the lightest sunscreens. If we compare these two sunscreens, texture-wise, Purito, more matte, more lightweight, less hydrating, great for oily skin types. But this also works good for normal skin, even for dry skin if you use a moisturizer underneath the sunscreen. If you are not so oily, if you have normal dry skin, uh, if you have darker skin tone, if you like chemical sunscreens, if you are someone who tends to have clogged pores, this is gonna work amazing for you. It's an amazing sunscreen. But this one has fragrance. So that is why I kind of like recommend this one more for sensitive skin. This one has an essential oil. It's pretty low on the ingredient list. It doesn't have a, the scent is barely noticeable. So it's not gonna be very problematic. But if you, if you have extremely sensitive skin, I don't really recommend this one. 
When it comes to their formula, both of these, besides having great UV filters, they have amazing ingredients for your skin. Both of these have niacinamide, which is a great ingredient. Uh, it's gonna help with acne, pore size, skin brightening, uh, skin barrier. Also, both of these have humectants, hyaluronic acid, butyrene glycol. This one has Centella Asiatica in it and some uh, ingredients from the Centella Asiatica family, which are great for your skin, soothing, uh, redness reduction. I think both of these have vitamin E, great antioxidant. This also has a better, glu better gluten, <laughs> panthenol, allantoin, great, great ingredients. When it comes to beneficial ingredients, I would say both of these are kind of like on the same level. Texture-wise, personally, I like the Purito one more because I'm super oily and this is super matte. Well, not super matte, it is matte, so it gives me a very nice finish. Um, I would use Claire's mostly in the winter when my skin is pretty dehydrated. I'm using, I have the Claire's one on my face right now. And as you can see, it is, it's been like four hours since I have this and I look not so mad, I would say. It is, it is not shiny, however, yeah, for some people that may be shiny, but it is Kind of like a, let's say, let's call it a healthy glow. <laughs> but texture-wise, this is a 10 out of 10 for me, and this is kind of like a 9 out of 10. At the end of the day, especially, I look pretty greasy. Overall, for me personally, this is a, a 10 out of 10. This is the Purito one. Why is my camera so stupid? And this is a 9 out of 10, just because this one has that essential oil, and also because it's not as matte as I want. I hope you guys find this comparison helpful. Uh, if you did so, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what other sunscreens I should check. Uh, what do you think about these two sunscreens? Also, check out my social media. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Love you all, guys. See you all in my next video.